Welcome to another jam-packed week of TMTV. I'm your host, Anthony Barton, bringing you the latest in live event news from around the country. In this week's show, Schoolboy Q announces his maiden Australian voyage, Peace Train the Cat Stevens story rolls into Melbourne, and the multi-Grammy award-winning Soweto Gospel Choir brings their heavenly voices to Melbourne's Art Centre in July. Plus, we have a live performance from All the Colours at the end of the show. Rapper Schoolboy Q has announced he'll be here in June. Known for his fresh lyrics and beats, Q is part of the incredible hip-hop group Black Hippie with Kendrick Lamar, Ab Soul and J-Rock. He is responsible for the bucket hat making a comeback and recently appeared in the Back to the Future hoverboard hoax video. Q will rock Melbourne Forum on June 11. Peace Train The Cat Stevens Story is coming to Melbourne in July and August. The show features the incredible music of the artist formerly known as Cat Stevens and tells the stories behind the songs. Covering 23 of Stevens' classic tunes, Darren Coggan and his band give fans the opportunity they can't afford to miss. Catch Peace Train at the Art Centre Melbourne's Playhouse from July 30 to August 3rd. The Soweto Gospel Choir is also coming to the Art Centre Melbourne in July. There is something truly special about this group who count U2, Stevie Wonder and the Red Hot Chili Peppers as past collaborators. Nelson Mandela was a fan and I'm sure you'll be too. They'll fill Hamer Hall with their powerful sound on July 13. This week, catch Brisbane Indie Kids Ballpark Music when they grace their hometown stage with Papa vs Pretty and Holy Holy. This show coincides with the release of Ballpark Music's new super catchy and hook soaked album Pudding Head. They'll have the kids dancing at the Tivoli on Friday, April 11. Chug Entertainment has confirmed that Hanson will be returning to Australia in August. Their Anthem World Tour kicks off at Brisbane's Tivoli on the 5th before heading down to Melbourne's Palais on the 9th. This also marks the first time the brothers tour New Zealand. They play the Power Station in Auckland on August 17th. Also, don't forget that Blues Fest is fast approaching. If you're like me and can't make it up to Byron Bay, make sure you check out some of the incredible sideshows that are on offer, including Sean Cooty and Egypt 80, Michael Franti and Spearhead, and Steve Earl and the Dukes. Check ticketmaster.com.au for more sideshows and ticket info. Now to recent album releases. As mentioned before, Ballpark Music have a new one called Pudding Head, which has topped my list for album title of the year. This album breathes fresh light onto the indie pop genre with ethereal vocals and tight interplay between the vocal and guitar melodies. Definitely worth grabbing from iTunes now. ARIA Hall of Famer Russell Morris releases his new album Van Diemen's Land on April 11th and Cindy Lauper reissued her classic album She's So Unusual to celebrate its 30th anniversary. Ranked 494 in Rolling Stone magazine's 500 Greatest Albums of All Time, if you haven't added She's So Unusual to your collection yet, the 30th anniversary edition will be your chance. Did you grab a ticket to one of the sold out 5 seconds of summer shows at the Tivoli or the Palais? Make sure you let your friends know you're going by RSVPing to the gig and tagging your friends that are going. You can also tag the exact seat you're sitting in for extra bragging rights. Wrapping up the show for this week we have All The Colours performing an acoustic rendition of their new single Fragile. The band is a side project for Miami Horror's Josh Moriarty and we hope you enjoy. With the sun in your eyes, start away. Forget the home you've left behind. Erase all the ceilings that you had kept you in. And 
kept you feeling oh so sad angel angel you are mine play all the songs you've never heard sing the That's how my love is Angel, Angel You are mine Angel, Angel You Thanks for watching TMTV. We'll have plenty more event news for you next week.